The star of the Philippine elections is Rodrigo Duterte, who is set to become the country's next president. But the spotlight is shining on some other winners too. Geraldine Roman is about to become the country's first ever transgender congresswoman. And boxing hero Manny Pacquiao is punching his way to securing a Senate seat. Miss Roman's expected win is especially notable. The Philippines is a predominantly Catholic country where abortion, divorce and same-sex marriage are still outlawed. The 49-year-old comes from a powerful political family and its influence in the constituency has contributed to her success. Still, her win is a boost for the country's LGBT community, who have long complained of being marginalised. She told the media that she will campaign for an LGBT anti-discrimination bill and to make it legal for people to identify as whichever gender they prefer. <laughs> Meanwhile, unofficial results announced Tuesday show that boxing legend Manny Pacquiao has secured enough votes to enter the country's Senate. It's another step forward for the eight-time world champion to reach his ultimate goal, to one day become president himself. The 37-year-old boxer has served two terms as a congressman, but critics said he has performed poorly as a lawmaker and was often absent. But it doesn't appear to have dented his popularity.